It's currently the night of the 24th to 25th December, so uh, why am I playing PUE <laughs> this time? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, happy holidays, exactly, yes, 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 PUE, exactly. Uh, final build conclusion, I think. Um, I found out something that might help you if you're looking for some extra deeps from the new leak affliction, and that is, where is it? That which was taken. This unique jewel gives you charm modifiers. But the cool part about it is, first of all, it gives you four. Secondly, or it can give you four. Secondly, does it always give you four? I don't know. Um, secondly, you can even use it if you don't. Use, uh, for example, if you use tinctures, right? So you don't really need the. You can use charm mods if you don't have this. This is really cool. But also. It can have four prefixes. What is this? <laughs> it can have four prefixes. So I found this one. And I bought this one. I was really hyped because the, there's one mod that people overlook, I think. And the mod is Consecrated Ground you create applies 10% increased damage taken to enemies. If you use Bottled Faith, this is the unique flask that practically does the same. You don't really need this. <laughs> but, um,. I have, yeah, I have this one right now. I could have a better one, I think, but enemies ignited by you during effect take increased damage. Nice. This so this kind of stacks. However, if you're not using, uh, I I forgot the flask name, bottle faith, <laughs> and if you're not uh, like wh wh whoever this leader of the Boy Scouts uh, ascendancy is called. Yeah, Guardian? No, not Guardian. I don't know. This is really big because one mod is 10% increased damage taken. And on the charms you can get chance to create consecrated ground when you hit a rare unique enemy. Lasting 8 seconds. Now I am completely hitting <laughs> everything multiple times a second with Vile Earthquake, with my Cyclone, with my everything. Yeah? Shockwave. So with 30% chance, everything, if there's a rare or unique, is the ground is now consecrated ground. So this is really cool, especially because I'm an assassin. Normally I don't get anything from consecrated ground or don't have to do anything with it. The life dragon doesn't do much, but reduced effect of curses might be cool. Sometimes gives you a little bit, yeah, it is, an, is a nice add, but the 10% increased damage taken is really big. Because if you're scaling damage, Normally there's this increased damage for you, then you want more damage if you have a lot of increased damage, but there are certain caps, right? More damage sounds cool, but more damage is only valuable if you have increased damage or if you have base damage at all. And then if you scale more damage to up to 500%, or like, not more damage, but if you then go into crit multiplayer and that goes up to 500%, then you have your base damage increased, more damage and then crit multi. But if all those stats are above 100, 200, 300, 400 percent, you don't really get much out of them anymore. Um, so you have to look elsewhere. 
And this is where increased damage taken for the enemy is really nice. Is really nice. And apart from this, apart from this, it had also elemental resistances on exposure extra. Let me let me let me see. Path of building. Uh, da, 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 da. <sighs> Import the my build. Boop. Boop. Clicking boxes is fun. This is the whole idea how I scale my damage. Clicking boxes. <laughs> do I have onslaught? It doesn't really do much, so I have onslaught right now. <laughs> Am I fortified? Yes. Elusive. Are you? Yeah, I'm okay. One unique enemy. This. Wait. Oi. Oi. We want shockwave. Um. Huh? Why doesn't it add any damage? Hello? Zero? Okay. Weird. Have you crit recently? Yeah, maybe. Dip, dip, dip. Full life adds a lot of damage. Thanks to my ascendancy. Ignites it. Chilled. Shocked. Intimidated. Yes. Consecrated grounds. Look. 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 That jewel. That jewel. 13.7% damage. If I'm fighting like Uber Pinnacle boss. Oh. I forgot to put my flask on once again. <laughs> if I fight Uber Pinnacle boss, 13.8% of damage increase out of one jewel. And I I have my shockwave, I have my initial impact, I have my aftershock, right? This is a lot. 14% more damage. Just, just one jewel. How, how, how cool is that? How cool is that? But it is mostly because of the consecrated grounds. It is mostly because of the consecrated grounds, because without it, seven percent. It's all. It's, it's still big. It's still super big. But the consecrated grounds. Uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> you might want that. You might want that if you if you have place for it. If you have place for it. Talking about places for it. Go back to PUE. I played around a little bit with the charms. I have now frenzy on hits. Nice melee hits have a chance to fortify because while earthquake the walking the tuk 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 tuk. Is a melee hit, so I'm fortified all the time. Um, physical damage is extra damage of a random element, so I shock, ignite. Well, I do cold, my main damage is cold, and some of it's fire, but I don't have a source of lightning damage, so now I have one. <coughs> Increased elusive effect, or nice as well, is fast and is defensive a bit. And here I have mana reservation, efficiency of skills 10% only, yeah. Now, when I saw that's because. I think I'm not entirely sure, but if you look up charms, they can't have they can't have all prefixes with all suffixes. This doesn't work. For example, I was really sad that I missing the 10% or what was it 8% of leeches instant. I was really sad about it, so I really I, I reskilled it on the tree. Three points for this. this feels kind of weird, but it's so so strong. If you're dealing more than like yeah, if you're dealing a couple millions of damage. Instant leech is just mm, it's just so sexy. It's so sexy. As as long as you don't get one shot and as long as you're still dealing damage, you just don't die. You, your health is just boop boop boop. It's just nice. It's completely nice because um, I hope you know how uh, life leech works. Life leech is yeah. I think this is like I hope I I, I explain it correctly, but it should be like this. You can stagger. The life, regener life regeneration effect with your damage, but the life regeneration effect is capped. You can't just if you deal 100 damage and you have 10% le leech, you don't immediately get 10 life. It's like you get now 10 life over what whatever seconds, for, exa for example. So, right, there's a cap, and this kind of removes the cap. So this is really cool. Yes, 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 yes. Then. Right, when I discovered the mana reservation efficiency of skills, I thought about what can I do with my builds to make it maybe tankier. Oh, I have the wrong source of sound. To make it maybe tankier. I was just playing around because I have a lot of damage, right? So I thought mm, maybe I can get rid of Heat Shiver. Maybe. Because it's cool, it's, it does a lot of damage. If you look at it in PUB, let's see what happened with my Shockwave damage. On Uber Pinnacle, this is fine. Ah, this is this 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 is senseless. Okay, let's say standard boss. Standard boss. I deal 4.5 million on standard boss. Now I say, 
chill effect. Chill effect means the reduction of action speed. This is practically the chill effect. So if you have an effect that like chill always reduces the action speed by 6%, for example, then it's 6% effect of chill. So this means that um, heat shiver takes 6% of your cold damage as extra fire damage. Right. Uh, however, the more chunks of damage you put into the enemy, and you always chill if your cold damage crits, and the more of it you inflict the enemy with, the higher is the chill effect. You can amplify this with increased effect of ailments and stuff, um, non-damaging ailments, I mean. But let's see how the damage ramps up. If I, like, 30% chill is pretty big, I think. And this is almost, this is almost one-fifth of my damage. Heat shiver, heat shiver, nice. But if the enemy is frozen, is is completely escalating. The problem was, I have enough damage for everything basically. Now I don't really freeze the uber bosses, or do I? Sometimes, not really. Are they freezing moon? Some, some not. I don't know. <laughs> but I thought I'm not really freezing them, so I maybe can cut heat shiver. Though I got rid of it. To, to craft this <clears throat> real quickly. This was easy to craft. I just found this and I realized why is it so expensive? <laughs> it's because of the chaos risk. So I can just craft increased mana reservation efficiency on it with uh, essence. Luckily I rolled accuracy rating so I have some damage of that and uh, I also got life. This is really nice. Um, yeah, mana reservation efficiency on, on as an implicit. And then I had enough mana to use either purity of elements or determination. Now I tried purity of elements with Soul of Lunaris for additional physical damage reduction and protective, avoid protective that is chained and also I think Soul of Relocash so that I don't instant die to bleed <laughs> or like I tried some, I, tr I, tried, I, I tried a few. I tried that. It was really cool to be ailment immune to every ailment, right? This is really... It's just chill. It's just super quality of life. But... I still died. I still died. Then I tried determination and went uh, freeze immune, ignite, less effect. Um, I think I have it on some jewel as well. I don't, I'm not sure. But yeah. And... I still died. <laughs> This is, I can do all contents, right? I can do every map, I can do, if I want to, I can do five daily orb maps. It's a bit annoying, I, w I would never do five, I would always do four, but I can do it, I can do big um, wisp juice. However, I think if you hit like 7k juice, the mobs are stronger than uh, Five daily orbs, honestly. <laughs> this is completely disgusting. And the problem is that sometimes I'm just walking around, like collecting loot, and there's one single magic mob um, buffed, and it just one shots me. <laughs> so I realized, okay, if I can have purity of elements, but this doesn't really help in those situations, so I rather have determination. That might help a bit, but yeah, sometimes I'm just one shots. This is because my HP pool is not so nice. I mean, I don't have life on my boots right now. Mm. Well, this item had life, nice. This item had more armor, nice. I could go these boots, they have life, nice. But in the end I, I was like, okay, I can min-max here and there, but I'm never gonna reach like 5k life pool, right? I have a lot of effective health. I think with determination I had like... Yeah, it was a lot, wait, let, 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 me, let me see, let me see. Let's say I just um, add determination here. I think it was... I think it was reasonable. Playable, playable, so to say. Determination. 40k? Hey! <laughs> Only 40k, what the fuck? Yeah, effective hit full. I mean, it's not. Ah, no, it was more, it was more. It was more because I changed my gear a bit and I had even more armor. Um, it was fine. I had a d different ring back then. Uh. But, 
But I realized that people buy MTXs, right? This game is really fun, but you still buy MTXs and you will not use them. It's nice if you have a build that can make use of your, the MTXs, but some MTXs are just so nice. The Herald ones, for example, the Explosion ones. There's nothing more beautiful if you run into a pack of mobs, right? There's a big pack of mobs and you run on the edge of those packs and the moment you touch one mob, everything your PC lags for a split second, everything explodes and nothing is left. <laughs> this is just so beautiful. Um, yeah. Back in the day when uh, this wasn't chance to explode, but simply explode 100% and all corpses w w would have been gone or with builds that do this still. This was really cool because not even a corpse was left, it was just clean. This was just clean area with loot. <laughs> this was so satisfying. But yeah, I came back to this, I just um, got rid of the helmet, put back, back on Hechiva and... Um, Oi, am I, am I stupid? What is the key for R here? <laughs> I have it in my muscle memory, but I didn't know it if it was Sutrude or Alt. Yeah, I put Herald of Ice back in. Not because it does anything, it actually doesn't really do anything. It, legit, it doesn't really do anything. It, it it's not really. <laughs> it kills some normal mobs sometime, um, but mainly it looks cool because it looks cool. I put back Herald of Ice back in. I put Heat Shiver back on. Um, it's just, it's just fun to play. Then I didn't really know. I, I mean, I have a lot of upgrades I could do with this build. For example. Get rid of this unique ring, craft a rare ring with like frostbite on hit, gets and can apply additional curse on this chest. Uh, maybe inflict brittle somehow, maybe with different boots because I don't need those anymore since I have socketed AoE gems on this now. I don't need socketed cold gems here so I can gain physical damage as extra cold is a, is a implicit mod from uh, Eat of Worlds, I think. Yeah, I can just get boots like these maybe with avian for example like i could do a lot i could get a better amulet i could like giga farm and get a simplex amulet that does the same but like doubled <laughs> i could do that i could try to double crop my amulet with my b aura effect um i could try to double effect my karui more but last time it happened i got a bit sad <laughs> <laughs> because I forgot that this increased explicit physical modifier magnitudes was annoying to roll and I had to buy tempering orbs and they were 95c each. This was a bit sad. <laughs> um, yeah. So you can do a lot with this build. You can, yeah, you can always put in two cluster jewels. You can go a bit more on the. Non you can't. See. As an assassin, you can't make it hardcore viable. You. <laughs> I still think, and this is a th this is this is just me. I never play a, a league starter build. I play one character the whole league most of the time, and I don't I only play the league for like two or three weeks, and I play one character, right? So I started with this character this league and I played this build from the start. This was complete pain. It was not like I was really kept doing specific content but I yeah I had to get my upgrades. I had to figure out how things work because nobody else really plays this on a well uh, not as a saboteur and not not without like two hundred divines, right? So I had to figure it out myself. This was really fun I had to say and I could do all content in the end. So it was really nice. I would recommend, or I, I would try, if I were to play this again, I would go Slayer and then Strength Stacking, because as a Strength Stacker, you can have these one handed weapons that say damage with these weapons deal double damage. And it doesn't matter that they have low physical damage on them, because you scale up Chaos Damage to these boots. And I think you can go more defensive layers on that build, more damage as well. This is an idea, or like an ignite build. There's a ignite build of this. I would, I would try this. Um, what is the, what is really annoying is that, because nobody else plays this. Where is it? Earthquake. You can technically, because you need the, 
you need the quality on this. More damage with hits and ailments. The aftershock, the big aftershock. It, it's not really that important, but it is also your biggest chunk of DPS and really nice for bosses. This, you need the quality on the gem. So you could go a 20-20 gem, double corrupted, and if you're lucky, the gem turns into a Val gem and then level 21. This could happen. But mm, there is not one gem in this <laughs> in the trade. This is, this is a bit annoying. This is a bit annoying. <clears throat> but yeah, apart from that, Assassin is really fast. I die a lot. I die a lot. Um, however, I think even though I'm dying, because I'm giga fast, I'm still not really losing time for that. It's just a bit frustrating to die because it's, it's, I mean, imagine I had five more skill points. I could just farm efficiently and do like <laughs> rotations on breach stones. Yes, 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 yes. But I mean, I could, for five skill points, I could put in another jewel and hey, this jewel is 14% of my damage. If I can find another one, boom, uh, how nice is it? Or I can maybe make the cluster you will set up correctly because I only have this for this, basically. So if I get my conversion from a different source, I could put in another cluster jewel, however. I mean, those nodes here are really cool and I don't want to drop any. What I could drop are these nodes here. But then I would need skill effect duration elsewhere, and I need at least I think you need at least thirty percent skill effect duration to me to make Val Earthquake like kind of an auto bomber style. Yeah, just that. Mm. Anything else that might be interesting? Hmm. Anything else that would be interesting? I would love to double crop this honestly. <laughs> 30% quality double corruptors get more physical damage and increased AoE. Mm. Nice. <sighs> no, I think. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. If you found this interesting, what I was talking about, then. Nice! Nice! I'm useful for some people. That's <laughs> nice! <laughs> and yeah. I waste all my currency. Honestly, I don't want to make this depressing, but I think I'm kind of done with the leak. However! Thanks to Kid Zesty, as per usual, he kind of um, got this idea, uh, got got this idea in my head to play this build. And for playing only one character, I really had fun this league. Uh, it was an enjoyable league, and I mean the league mechanic kills you anyway. So softcore, softcore is key, I think, and also. If you're dying anyway, why not play giga fast explosion build like this? <laughs> Was worth for me. Yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for whatsoever. Have a wonderful time. And uh, yeah, see ya when I'm, I don't know, probably doing. What is my next video gonna be? Probably not PUE, probably <laughs> leak or <laughs> God. <laughs> Am I a bit tired first? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, take care.